The U.S. Navy is on the verge of transforming into the U.S. Air Force. Aircraft carriers traditionally designed to sail the seas are now being envisioned as flying carriers, much like the aircraft that take off from them. These carriers would take to the skies instead of the seas, but with the same purpose, to project the might of the U.S. Navy. While the concept of a flying aircraft carrier may seem unusual, it is not new. The idea dates back to the World Wars. With advancements in technology, this concept has regained attention, and the United States is once again striving to develop revolutionary flying carriers. The growing interest in flying carriers is closely tied to the dominance of U.S. sea-based aircraft carriers. The U.S. owns 25% of the world's aircraft carriers, with a combined deck space exceeding that of all other nations combined. Additionally, the USS Ford-class carriers, the latest generation of U.S. carriers, are far superior to any other aircraft carrier in history. Here are some of their standout features. 1. Nuclear power. The USS Gerald Ford is powered by two Bechtel Atone AB nuclear reactors, the most advanced engines designed for maritime use. Leveraging the longevity of nuclear energy, the carrier requires refueling only once during its 50-year operational life. It can operate for 25 years without refueling and achieve a peak speed of 30 knots, providing global reach for both friendly visits and enemy deterrence. 2. New Sensors and Processing Systems OSS Ford is equipped with cutting-edge sensors, processors, and weaponry. Notably, it features the ANS-SPY-3 multifunction radar and X and S band active electronically scanned array, AECA. This advanced radar system handles surveillance, air traffic control, missile communication, and target detection from miles away. Three. Advanced Fighter Jets and UAVs USS Ford can host up to 75 fighter jets and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, including the fifth-generation F-35C Lightning II. The F-35C program is the Pentagon's most expensive weapons development initiative, costing $400 billion. This jet excels in multiple roles, such as vertical takeoff and close air support. The carrier is also prepared to accommodate future 6,757 fighters. But its dominance at sea, a flying aircraft carrier could extend U.S. superiority into the skies. The idea of airborne carriers has been explored since 1917, beginning with small aircraft suspended beneath airships for defense. Here are some notable experiments. Boeing 747 Airborne, aircraft carrier. In the 1970s, the U.S. Air Force considered converting the Boeing 747 into a flying carrier. This design would carry up to 10 microfighters that could be launched and retrieved mid-air. However, technical challenges and costs prevented the project from moving beyond the conceptual stage. Ooh. Ooh. Nuclear-powered Lockheed CL-1201 Lockheed proposed a massive flying carrier weighing 5,265 tons, powered by a nuclear reactor. This aircraft could remain airborne for 41 days without refueling. However, its immense cost and complexity kept it from realization. B-36 Peacemaker in the 1950s, the B-36 Peacemaker bomber was considered as a flying carrier for four microfighters. However, advancements in aerial refueling diminished the need for such a platform, and the project was shelved. Alternate routes were pursued for making any major deployment until the final arrangements were made down to just one route. Jensky from Project Lockheed C-130 Hercules a recent initiative involves modifying the Lockheed C-130 Hercules to launch and recover X-61 Gremlins drones. Um, testing began in 2015.
with successful launches achieved, although technical challenges remain. Despite the hurdles, the concept of flying aircraft carriers remains a compelling topic. with the potential to complement U.S. naval strength. If successful, this technology could elevate U.S. dominance in air warfare to unprecedented levels. Hmm.